Today I'm going to tell you about a woman named China Arnold, a young mother who one night had a terrible argument with her spouse over the paternity of their newborn. I think it's safe to say that no argument ends well when alcohol is involved, but the way the night played out for China, in my opinion, and hopefully yours too, was the worst possible outcome. China was born in Dayton, Ohio on March 29th, 1980. But by the time this story takes place, China had a bit of a rap sheet. She was arrested for abducting someone in 2000, and in 2002, she was arrested for forgery. But in 2005, China seemed to be turning her life around and was attending community college in Dayton and was hoping to become a counselor. China was a young mother at just 25. In early August of 2005, she had just had her fourth child, a baby girl she had named Paris. China was living in a housing complex with her children and boyfriend, Terrell Talley. Terrell's income came from selling On the night of August 30th, 2005, Terrell's sister offered to look after the kids so China and Terrell could have a date night. They had just had their baby girl 28 days prior, so alone time was perfect. They grabbed a bottle of and began drinking it in the park. The conversation quickly soured when Terrell began accusing China about having an affair and he was questioning whether the baby was even biologically his. Terrell also confessed to China that he had recently slept with their neighbor. That's when things got violent. While they were still at the park, Terrell slapped Paris and pushed her to the ground and she bit his lip. At this time, there were many drinks in and they were very intoxicated. Terrell decided to remove himself from the situation and left to go to The Spot, an apartment in their housing complex that he sold drugs out of. China went home and when Terrell's sister left, her anger continued to grow. And with all that information and in an angry drunk haze, China figured the only way to get Terrell back was to put the baby in the microwave. The microwave? China closed the microwave door, turned the microwave on, and left the baby inside for two minutes. That's actually horrific. After taking Paris out of the microwave, China then took Paris and placed her in a tub of water. China put Paris in clean clothes and laid down next to her on the couch and fell asleep. When Taylor arrived home in the early hours of August 30th, he found China asleep on the couch with the baby sleeping on the couch near her feet. Taro curled up next to China and also fell asleep. When they awoke to get their other kids ready for school, Taro finally noticed that Paris wasn't sleeping. China and Terrell frantically rushed baby Paris to the children's medical center. When they arrived, the doctors took her temperature and it was 95 degrees. She was not breathing and her blood pressure didn't even register. It was immediately clear that there was nothing that the doctors could do. Dr. William Matra was the one to examine Paris. He said he immediately saw the baby had visible burns on her face, trunks, and limbs. Paris had been dressed in a clean nightgown, which the doctors had found odd. She had been burned, but there were no burn marks no leakage. It was like nothing the doctors had ever seen before. When Dr. William Matra asked China about the burns, she responded with a question. My baby has been burned? China's story was that she had gotten home around two in the morning. She said that she had tried to feed Paris, but she didn't want to eat. Then after she tried to feed her, she gently put Paris down into her bassinet in front of the fan. She said it wasn't until they awoke later that morning that Paris wasn't acting right. China said that she got her kids ready for school and onto the bus, and right after that is when Terrell and her had left for the Children's Medical Center with Paris. China and Terrell were taken from the hospital to the police station to be further questioned. At the police station, China began to contradict the story she had told to the doctors. She told police that she had arrived home between 9.30 and 10 p.m., not 2 a.m. She said she laid down on the couch with Paris on her chest, and they fell asleep. She said that Paris started to cry around 2.30 in the morning. When the crying woke China up, she decided to make a bottle to feed her and also change Paris's diaper at that time. They then laid down on the couch with Paris on China's chest. When China awoke later that morning, she saw Terrell sleeping next to her, but didn't see Paris and didn't know where Paris was. She said that she thought that Terrell had possibly taken Paris to her room to sleep in her bassinet. Her and Terrell went in for questioning separately and when it was Terrell's turn, the story was much different than the one that China's told. He said that he didn't get home until three or four in the morning. He went to sleep on the couch next to China, and when he woke up, he saw Paris face down on the couch, deceased. Authorities requested and were granted a search warrant to China and Terrell's apartment. The detective had been told by the coroner that the burns that Paris sustained were caused by a thermal injury. There were parts of Paris's body that were severely burned, while other parts had no burns at all. The detective was looking for a rectangular object, like a heating pad or cooking tin that maybe could have caused these burns. The microwave wasn't even considered because why would anyone assume something so horrific? 
The detectives went upstairs and saw the plastic tub that China had bathed Paris in. Neighbors were questioned and they told the detectives about Terrell's sister babysitting. When China was questioned for a third time on the same day, she told the police that that was true, but that she had gotten home between 9.30 and 10 o'clock and she fell asleep with Paris. She reiterated that they awoke at 2.30 in the morning to feed and change Paris. When police asked about the tub they had found, she said that she had given Paris a bath in the afternoon and forgot to empty it. Detectives knew about the argument that China and Terrell had at the park on their date, but China told them that the fight was regarding her driving. So he eventually confessed that the fight they had was about the paternity of Paris. Police then told China that the neighbors had told them that they spotted China on her porch around 4 a.m. China said that that was true. She was on the porch and the reason was that she was waiting for Terrell. This was when things changed again. Her story now was that she had been waiting for Terrell to come home because he had taken Paris with him when he left that night to cool down. The authorities asked China why she had not told this in the previous two interviews and her answer was that she loved Terrell very much and was trying to protect him. The police asked China if Paris was returned with burns on her China refused to answer the question. China was arrested for child endangerment, but let go a few days later due to the lack of evidence. The doctors ruled that Paris's death was caused by hypothermia, but the case was classified as a homicide. Fast forward to 2006 when the coroner learned of microwave experiments in a study that had come out. The coroner saw the story of a baby that had been put in a microwave in Virginia and the burns that that baby had sustained were similar to those that Paris had. In May of 2006, detectives went back to the housing complex. Terrell and China no longer lived there, but the microwave was still there. They took the microwave to be examined, and it was then that they discovered the small amounts of DNA from the top of the inside of the microwave that were a match to Paris. Because of her size and her burn pattern that was consistent with the heating of the microwave, it was determined that the microwave was the cause of death. The coroner also stated that the time of death was between 1 and 3 a.m., which would mean that Terrell wasn't there, and now there was enough evidence to convict China of the crime. In November 2006, China was rearrested for the aggravated murder of Paris and was put in jail to await trial. There were three trials that took place between 2006 and 2011 because it wasn't explicitly clear that China was the sole person responsible for Paris's death. However, while China was in jail awaiting her first trial, she became romantically involved with her cellmate. The cellmate later testified that China had confessed to her about the murder. There was also another report saying that China had confessed to Terrell that she had placed Paris in the microwave. In February 2008, shortly after China's first trial began, Terrell told the jury that his son had told him that he was the one that pulled Paris's lifeless body out of the microwave after a neighbor's boy had put her inside. Because of this new information, the judge declared a mistrial. During the second trial, the mother of the child that was said to have placed the baby in the microwave was able to prove that her son was not at the housing complex when Paris died. China was then convicted of aggravated murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. And on September 8th, 2008, she was incarcerated at the Dayton Correctional Institution. But just two years later on November 5th, 2010, the Ohio Second District Court of Appeals reversed China's conviction, citing prosecutorial misconduct and stated that the court erred by not allowing material witnesses to testify in her defense. So then there was a third trial. During this trial, China's attorney argued that the evidence pointed out as much to Terrell as it did to her, but that argument failed to convince the jury. On May 13, 2011, the jury found her guilty of aggravated murder. On May 20th, Arnold was again sentenced to life in prison without parole, with both the jury and judge rejecting the death penalty option. China did not agree with the sentence because her attorney stated that they would be appealing the decision. In September of 2013, China's lawyer requested a new trial in the Second District Court of Appeals, claiming that there were multiple errors made in her case. In December of 2013, the Second District Court of Appeals said that the decision was correct and affirmed the conviction. Then an appeal regarding China's life sentence was made, citing constitutional questions about double jeopardy because she was tried more than once for the same crime. Her attorney asked the Ohio Supreme Court to reverse the Second District Court of Appeals decision and to send the case back to court for resentencing. But in May of 2014, the Ohio Supreme Court decided not to take up the appeal. China is still in prison and will remain there without the possibility of a parole. 